What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Chicago Mike the Shooter here. Hope y'all are having a great day. I'm having a great day. Okay, so I am here at the Megar booth at the NRA show here with TK. He's gonna talk about the magazines, what's what so special about them. So I will switch the camera over to him and don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. that people always ask about magazines and they want to do original magazines versus aftermarket magazines and Megar is one of those companies actually have both. We are the world's largest manufacturer of magazines period and we are also the world's largest OEM manufacturer period. So if you have a brand new gun or any of the major manufacturers out there you stand in a gun shop open your box up and the magazine says made in Italy on it it's probably made by Megar. We still make a huge part of the major manufacturers, be it Six Sour, uh, be it Six Sour, uh, Browning, uh, Six, uh, Smith & Wesson, uh, Taurus, Beretta, all the Conic Turkish gun manufacturers use our magazines as original magazines. So we are supplying them with something of ours that actually says the brand name of the gun manufacturer, like Six Sour, or Browning or Walther or whomever, if your magazine says made in Italy on it, it's probably made by Megar. Now, people also ask us about the difference between the original magazines and the commercially available magazines. In our case, they're the same. We make the magazines for the commercial market and the gun manufacturer for the same steel, the same tools, same manufacturing procedures. So there's no difference between the original ones that we make and the commercial ones, commercial ones that we also make. And uh, one of the things that's been trending in the last couple of years is the high capacity or the plus capacity ones, which means you get the same length magazine, but you get two, three more rounds in the same length magazine as you used to. If you used to have a 15 round magazine before, now all of us are gonna have 17 or 18 rounds in the same length of the magazine tube. It's just technology, uh, better quality of springs and steel and everything else that comes into effect on that. Uh, but if you are looking for the best ones out there, and the best ones that work out there, law enforcement, military, sports shooters, civilians who care for self-protection or whatever, do not hesitate and do not buy the cheap stuff. Do not go to Bob's Bargain Basement Bodega and buy your $9.99 magazines. Make an investment. Pay the $30, $35, $40 $30 for the good quality thing. Because once in, uh, sort of at the end of the day, how much is your life worth? Especially if you can use it for self-protection. And so do make the investment, get the good stuff. And generally speaking about magazines, I don't care who makes them or not, do not oil them, okay? Clean them, keep them dry. That way they don't suck up dust and dirt from wherever you're moving around, moving about. Just keep them clean and dry. Do not oil your magazines. Do not silicones, do not do that. Uh, just do your stuff proper, clean them. Maybe Friday evenings with a toothbrush, I don't give a damn, but do it. I'm sorry for swearing, but I'm going to do that again. So even if you do it on a Friday night and you don't have anything else to do on the weekend, clean your magazines up. Keep your gun clean, keep your magazines clean and dry. Well, TK, I really appreciate this interview. Uh, talking about all the Megar mags and all the specs. 
what's so good about them. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir. Thank and you, sir. You have a good show. Nice yes, meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.